Can you tell me a bit about what the initial draw for joining Miss Meetable was? Well, well, obviously Reese Witherspoon um, and the fact that it's a comedy and McGee and Chris Pine aside, you know. Um, I've never done it because I'm going to get him. Uh, I've never done a comedy before, so I thought I'd have a go with the, with the professionals and, uh, and see, try my luck at it. That's Quite it. nice, taking on a comedy, taking on a bit of a different subject matter. Yeah, do you know what was interesting about it? Is that it, 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 it what I found it, it's, it's, it's more who me in situation as opposed to putting on a character, if that makes sense. So it was a, it was a different kind of experience, so I really enjoyed it, actually. Uh, but it was different. What do you want to expect when you get to see the film? What do you want them to take away with them? No, I just want to have a good time. They've got mine, so it's a comedy, isn't it? So a bit of fun, really. And, and entertainment. It's very light entertainment. Fantastically funny scenes. I mean, which was your favourite film? I haven't even seen it. Oh, but to film. Oh, yeah. to film. Um, a lot of them are funny. I love bantering with, with Chris, actually. I mean, and there was a lad actually who trained us as well, who did a lot of, uh, a lot of the, the pistol work and, uh, and, and machine gun work. We did a lot of training with him, which was good fun as well. So, you know, that side of things were fulfilled for me as well. And how are the Italian lessons going? Oh, for, 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 for Capone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, they haven't started until they come back from Siberia. I'm off to Siberia next week. Uh, yeah. to, uh, to, uh, yeah. And then when I get back, I'm going for uh, Italian. Good stuff. Hey. Hey, Bobby. Hello. Hey, Poppy, pleased to meet you. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, obviously, you haven't used guns and warfare when you try to get your girls in the past. Right. What are your top three tips out um, to get a girl? My top three what? Top three tips to get a girl. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. You know just, I think you've got to identify your target really and go for it. Do you know what I mean? And, and use any means necessary. <laughs> and, There's describe, only one. Just <laughs> get her. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So describe your ideal girl. Charlotte Riley. She's over here. She's over there. She's somewhere over there. Amazing. And if you had to use the chassis line, which one would you use? I, I don't bother. Do you know what I mean? You don't need one. <laughs> Amazing. Well, we really but it's true, though, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's either on or it isn't. Completely. Yeah. yeah, I know. You're freezing. Freezing. Everybody's cold. This is England. It's cold. What was your favourite scene in the film? To film? Um, I enjoyed all of them. I love working with Chris because he's funny. I love working with Reese because she's brilliantly funny as well. So I enjoyed all of it and it was really nice to, you know, um, I enjoyed every single one. Well, I've never done a comedy before, so, so it's fun. You must be freezing. You really enjoyed it. You must be ill. No, I, I've got man flu, which is not, it just doesn't come under the category of a real illness, does it? It's sort of like, just man flu. Okay. Thank you. Hello. How are you? I've got man flu. Or thin. I'm sorry. Listen, you and Chris are both charismatic. Who is the better man? Come on, tell me. Chris. Why? Well, I mean, Chris is probably the better man because I know what levels I'll stoop to to do anything. You're a dirty backhanded man. I'll do anything to get what I want, yeah. And what can audiences expect from this piece for? Anything. What I think. Oh, I don't know. I'd say you know something like Tyrannosaur would be the perfect date movie, wouldn't it? Really check out who you're going out with then. Tom, how do you feel about uh, Gary Oldman getting the recognition the Oscar nominee? About bloody time, you know what I mean? Um, Gary Oldman's a gem and a genius, and like the you know, arguably with Metal Street, the great, like the greatest actor that ever lived, ever, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so yeah, Oscars, whatever, you know, awards, great. But at the end of the day, he's still top dog. Turning up every day, seeing Reese, what was that like? What's she really like? Does she have any faults and imperfections? No, she's flawless, absolutely perfect. Your character, why did you say yes to this? So say that again. So why do you say yes to this one? Uh, because I'm doing a comedy, like which was which was a straight comedy. I wanted to try my range out with, with the professionals, and you know these guys are the top of what they do. Uh, well, Reese certainly, you know, of, the, of, of comedy. So to get to work with her was awesome, and um, and and to you know try out that muscle. I'm used to playing characters, you know. So um, this was interesting because it's more circumstantial for me to be myself within it. I won't go and bore you, okay? But do you know what I mean? It was, like, it was something that I needed to work on. And, uh, Clearly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've got man flu right now. You don't want to come paper morning with me. We're just like under a duvet, eating ice cream together. Lisa says, from <laughs> Captain Breath. I just want to say Tom, What's that? Question. Lisa says hi from Captain Breath. Oh, give her a big hug. She has a big groundbreaking question. What does Tom Hardy wear in bed? My missus. <laughs> Whenever <laughs> possible. Thank you, Tom. Enjoy your premiership. No problem. Okay, so we have one question for you. Yeah.